this. At 2 o'clock, we see gold do this run here. Rips lower. Remember, this is the low I told you it was going to go to. Did it go to it at 2 o'clock? It's a 15-minute candlestick, by the way. It drops down, but falls short of the objective, and then leaves this low and this low as relative equal lows. And then it rips up higher. What's happening here? What's occurring? It's setting the stage for traders that suspect that this is support. We can go long. It's going to rally. That's not what we want to see. Go into the, the expectation I teach you where the fair value gap or the imbalance, it drops, leaves this inefficiency right here. When it drops, it comes back up into it there to offer an opportunity to go short. And then it delivers where I said on the 13th, which is that relative equal lows on the daily chart. It digs into it here. Lower, lower, one more good time, and then rips higher today. All of this price action in here, I, I, I'm telling you, I would not be in any of that. Not in it at all. Um, if I was looking at gold real time, I would have told you that it's possibly going to go here, but I wouldn't touch it. And that's the honest God truth. Ask any of my long-term students. I say this all the time about gold. I don't know what it is, this fascination with trading gold. But there are better markets to trade than this bullshit. But that two stage or second stage of delivery after 2.30. See, the first move is like a, a red herring. Hey, pay attention over here. Look at all this. Okay. And then at 2.30, that's the real move. That's the real one. Okay. So it can, it can come in two forms. It can go rally up. Suck everybody in thinking it's going to go lower. And then it wipes them completely out and goes lower a lot. Or it can drop lower, get everybody thinking at 2 o'clock that it's going lower. And then at 2.30, it rips and takes out the high that was formed prior to the drop. Okay, That's the buy or sell in that way. The other thing is where it drops down a lot, leaves a fair value gap. And at 2.30, it'll go back to the fair value gap. And then the real run comes. Most times... Most times it does not do this. Usually it creates a run, one direction, and that direction is a complete Judas swing where it runs, creates a high, it doesn't come back to that high and just makes a lower low in the day. Yes. Two o'clock. <clears throat> I know I, I've got people sending me messages saying that the title's wrong. <laughs> I know it, it'll be changed. It, the, I mislabeled my notes Friday and everything since then. I mentioned it earlier in the recording. But the uh, two o'clock is the initial leg of FOMC. We dropped, rallied higher, fair value gap, drops down rips up higher and then one more time drops lower if you look at the first move going into two o'clock what is the first move it's dropping down so it's setting what what's the expectation what's retail going to think it's going to keep doing lower this fair value gap is utilized twice two times Trades into here, rallies, they dig into it again today, one more time, and then they send it higher. This body of this candle, the last down closed candle, I'm using Isabella, by the way. 
this movement down into here. I'm buying that right there. Right there. Bought that. Then I'm using this right here, this opening price. And inside this little area here, I want to use that as a means of wanting to go long on a pyramid. So I went along with five contracts, which is not a lot. And I added another one, which is I'm, I'm pillaring. Not a lot. So, hindi din ako nagkulang sa paalala. Kapag August, pwede kayo mag-trade. Pero, wag malaki. Mag-risk kayo, pero napaka-konti lang. And guys, August lang yun. Isang buwan lang yun sa buong isang taon. Yun lang yung time na... Actually, yung August kasi you have choice, guys. Okay? And I have to be straight with you, guys. Kapag ka August, you have one option lang talaga as a trader, kung professional trader kayo, it's either you go away, mag kayo, pahinga kayo. Kung baga sa school, alam ninyo, pag nag-aaral lang isang estudyante, may pahinga yan. May, may bakasyon na tinatawag or merong semester break, tama? May summer break. Tama? Ilan yun sa isang taon? Marami, tama? O yun, correct. Lalo na ngayon, nung nagkaroon tayo ng pandemic, nausi yung health break, tama? So, good. Alam yun na yun. Now, ang mga company, meron ding outing. Tama? May, out, may outing sila, may pahinga sila. May isang araw pahinga sila or dalawang araw pahinga. Okay? And sa buong Pilipinas naman, is meron tayong mga holiday. Tama? Holiday, holiday. Yan. No work. Okay? Non-working holiday. Kaya tayo naman mga trader guys, is wala tayong halos ganun. Tama? Um, hindi lang tayo nagtitrade kapag ka Saturday and Sunday. Di ba? Saturday and Sunday and yung mga times na bank holiday, correct? Yes. Thank you so much for reminding that one, Luis. Okay. Pero, wala tayong bakasyon as a trader kung hindi yung buong month of August. Kung sasabihin nyo sa akin, Sir Kim, ba't August? Sasabihin niyo it's August. Ghost month. ba? Diba? O ghost. ba? Diba? O ghost. Um, 50-50. Parang ganon. Okay. Isipin nyo na lang, ghost month. Pero historically, ganoon na talaga 'yon. Every time na may o every time na August, pangit kasi 'yon para sa mga business owner, business businessman or even entrepreneur for that one. Okay? So, you have choice to live. Pahinga kayo, wag na kayo mag-trade or kung gusto ninyo um magpahinga kayo, magbakasyon kayo, punta kayo kung saan-saan. It's time for you to explore other things for the month of August. Pwede kayo magpahinga, balik kayo September. Now, hindi din ako magte-trade ng malaki ngayong August. Kaya kong mag-trade, pwede kayo mag-trade. Hindi naman sinabi ni ICT na wag na kayo mag-trade buong August, no? Hindi naman. Ang sabi niya lang doon, as much as possible, wag mo nang i-trade kung ayaw mo and kung gusto mo magpahinga kasi nga wala namang masyadong magandang mangyayari sa market and mahihirapan ka mag-analyze ng market for the month of August. Okay? So, pwede kayo mag- Pwede kayo umalis. Okay, pwede kayo umalis kapag August. Pwede kayo magpahinga. Consider that one as a vacation of you. Pag August. Pag trader ka, August ang pahinga mo. Ito na yan. So, yun lang yun. So, now, let's go back here. What am I aiming for here? Low hanging Just board. Just before we get to this high, because during FOMC, it could do this wild whipsaw still and then deliver up. I want to get in, or I'm sorry, I'm going to get out of my trade as it approaches this high low hanging fruit. I don't need it to go to the high or higher to get a fill. There's my exit on this candle here. All of this rundown is completely wiped out. Ultimately taking out that high here, over here. Two stages. Non-farm payroll is the same way. Ah, uh, ito na. Tapos na yung first stage. Okay. So, ngayon, pamunta na tayo second stage. You a drop, come back to a fair value gap and continue, or it gives you a drop and completely reverse and rip higher. Everything reversed. Everything reversed. The difference in knowing which one it is, is how it trades at the time, which is why I have to wait. I have to see what it's doing, how it delivers, and compare it to the other averages. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that relationship between the other. It's not S&T. I'm looking at 
how who's been leading the pack, higher or lower, whenever these reports come in. And then I'm looking for where the liquidity is. Traders that were trying to chase this, they're trapped down here. They're hoping it's going to go lower. Correct. Back up it goes. Go back and look at your calendar. And every time there was a FOMC rate announcement and non-farm payroll, study how that liquidity is taken. Study that. Study it's that. It's always a two-stage macro. It always does something initially that gets people thinking it's going to do something specific, and then it rips their face off. CPI is that macro on steroids. Naka-steroids daw. Okay. Ang CPI, ang pinakamalala. Naka-steroids daw yun. Naka-shabu. <laughs> okay? Parang ganun. CPI. So, mas malupit yun. On crack. On meth. <laughs> okay? It's it's literally like cocaine up the same macro. Diba? And you can't trade that. You can't uh, you trade can't, that. You can't, okay? You can't. So, all of these high-impact news drivers and or medium-impact news drivers, if you're afraid of those, just wait 30 minutes minimum. Make, wait 30 minutes after they form and then see what liquidity res- resides in the marketplace still in any inefficiency. And if it offers you a range that presents potential to see 10 handles, then you probably have a good chance of making five out of it. Or maybe even more mm-hmm. so it's there's a lot of waiting around to see what happens on these big in, impact news drivers because you don't know and I don't know before it happens how they're going to use that information to manipulate it because they want people chasing this idea at the moment and they know that brokers are pulling liquidity not that there's an absence of trading or interest it just means that all the brokers are collectively saying the hell with this we are not getting caught on the wrong side because if they get a client or a large base of their clients that are over leveraging and everybody so, I predominantly think, over leverages you know you yeah so i think okay naman na yun okay itong part na to is wala na pinagalitan niya na lang tayo okay so syempre base um ano uh, you know normal ICT mode <laughs> Okay, pagagalitan niya kayo. Okay? But anyways, at least you get the point. So, type mo kayo ng chat, guys, if you get it. Okay? Nag-gets nyo ba? Kung paano? Naintindihan nyo na ba? Kung anong mangyayari? Okay? So, I hope may natutunan kayo doon. Okay? I hope may natutunan kayo doon. Diba? So, hindi naman mahirap, diba? So, yun. FOMC, pwede. And to answer your question, kung anong oras pwede mag-trade during FOMC, ayun. Two stages. One is pagpasok ng 2.30. Second stage is it can be utilized twice. Pwede balikan ng dalawang beses. It can do that. Pwede yun. Okay? So, ano na nangyayari sa market? tumataas. Just like I told you. Just like I said. On the lower time frame, on a one minute chart, you try to check those zones na inanotate ko sa inyo. So, as of now, it's 11.28. Okay? 11.28 na. So, still, you you, you have time para mag, mag um, ano tayo dito? Para mag check ng market ninyo. Okay? So, um, bago tayo umalis dito, uh, meron lang ako sa inyong ipapapanood ulit. Okay? So, baka kasi nakaligtaan nyo yung video na yun. Rally higher, fair value gap, drops down, rips up higher, and then, one more time, drops lower. If you look at the first move going in 2 o'clock, what is the first move? It's dropping down, so it's setting what What's the expectation? What's retail going to think it's going to keep doing? Lower. This fair value gap is utilized twice. Type Y in the chat. Gets you na? That fair value gap is utilized twice. You makikita nyo fair value gap. It can be utilized 
twice. You see here. So, wait. Ibig sabihin, Sir Kim, yun ang nangyaring per value gap sa Nasdaq and imi ni S&P kahapon nung nung alin nga ulit yun? Nung 30 minutes time frame, ito, ibig sabihin, pwede pa tong gamitin ng dalawang beses? Naintindihan nyo ba? Uh, kung hindi nyo naintindihan, uh, balikan natin yung video, and check nyo na lang yung candlestick. This on the 15 minutes time frame. Sige, gayahin natin. Hmm. Okay? So, tignan nyo kung anong oras to binalikan. Around 6am to 12. 6 to 12. 6 to 12. Sorry. 6 to 12. So, we still have enough time to do that. Before it continue. <gasps> oh, she... So, ibig sabihin sa game. Possible na mangyari dito is that Pagpasok ng New York session, bagbaga na naman. Pagpasok ng New York session, duguan na naman. Now, check nyo si Bitcoin. Nasaan na itong si Tropa? Takay ng weekly chart ni Tropa. Ano sabi ko sa inyo? It can move 50% of that so now it's clearly na kinakopya niya yung movement not 100% but yes there's a sink sink nagsisink tindihan eh sir Kim eh di ba babagsak si imi ni S&P Nasdaq dun sa sell side liquidity ano yung tsura ni bitcoin I don't know hindi ko alam Who am I to judge? Who am I to decide? What better way to find out kung nagsasabi ako ng ito is to see. Check nyo. You have to find it. You have to see it to yourself. Abangan ninyo na makita ninyo yan sa inyong sariling mga mata. Okay? So, we do have a market review sa market and sa mga nagtatanong naman regarding sa kung gusto nyo na recording na itong live natin ngayon I, I, I do have a recording okay, record ako ngayon so, i-upload ko siya sa YouTube pagkatapos na mismo na itong um, session natin na to para ma-upload ko doon and then it will serve as your reviewer okay, it will serve as your reviewer for this coming week ano yung sinabi ko sa inyo guys meron tayong ngayong week hanggang next week para maging bearish that's it This week and two, next week, we are bearish. I am bearish. I don't know about you, but I'm bearish. Naintindihan? Eh, sir, kayong tumataas, oh. O, sige. Long ka na dyan, Lord. Tipi mo dun sa pinakamataas. Okay? Doon ka sa high hanging fruit. Not high... Okay? Ikaw na bahala. But anyways, I hope marami kayo natutunan ngayon. So, I will name this one as a market review lang naman. Okay? So, again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a great day so far. I hope sulit yung time ninyo. Um, thank you so much sa mga pag-alat nyo ng time dito sa live natin, even though busy kayo ngayon. So, mm -hmm. I really do appreciate that one. Okay? So, again, pwede na kayo mag-lunch. Early lunch. Okay? Mm -hmm. For that. Okay? So, again, thank you so much. Hope you're having a great day so far. And as always, Late breakfast. Thanks, coach. Same here. Late breakfast din ako. Thank you, guys.